All right, gonna do a quick video exposing the nature of the new IFB cult. I've done videos in the past showing their agenda to infiltrate Baptist churches all over North America and either convert them to Anderson's heresies or steal sheep to send the Phoenix or just intimidate the pastor like in this example I'm gonna show because that's the kind of nature of Stephen Anderson's new IFB cult. They are essentially uh, the new Westboro. They're being propped up by the media, but essentially you know, they want to convert the old IFB churches over to Anderson's heresies. And if somebody within the new IFB is, you know, being a bit, I guess you, they, they would consider that persecution by the old IFB, well, they're going to come and cause problems, like in this event right here. What they do is that one of the new IFB goons was going to be kicked out of the church for, for busy preaching against that statement of faith and bringing in some of the Anderson cult doctrine. So some new IFB goons come in and cause a ruckus, and the police are called, and it was a whole big mess. But this shows the kind of nature of Stephen Anderson's new IFB cult. Check this out. This is from the uh, Reason Files. Uh, they did an interview with the pastor of Countryside Baptist Church in Ohio, how they were infiltrated and flat out intimidated by some of these new IFB goons. So, check this out. Happen in your own words? Sure. Um, the um, uh, Patrick Bo uh, Boyle decided he was uh, he decided he was preaching against the statement of faith, and as a result, the church decided um, was meeting together to take. Um, to take the meeting up uh, actions against that since he was uh you know he was going replacement theology and he was also uh teaching mid-trib or pre or what his position would be pre rath rapture okay and so um the trustees uh, and all of them met together and decided what to do and they decided that they were obligated to um support the statement of faith Right. And, and so they they uh, convened an emergency meeting at the during one of the at the beginning of one of the services with the uh, trying to get uh, vote him out. And so that was a Sunday night. He found out about that, and we had I don't know how I don't know how the other folks found out, but there were some followers of Stephen Anderson that ended up showing up. Uh, they were not members of our church. Uh, they refused to leave when they were asked to leave by the, the, the trustees, as we had called a business meeting that didn't have anything to do with them, and so they were there. Were the police called, sir? Yes, the police were called, yes. What date did this incident take place, please? gentleman by chance yes mm -hmm. Jeff was there can you confirm that yes so you can identify if I sent you a picture of Jeff Utzler right now you could identify him yes mm -hmm. okay in fact in fact the, in fact the pictures that are up there are from the pictures that he took that night is does Jeff appear in those pictures 
or did he take the picture? Uh, as far as I, well, he was taking those pictures. Those are coming from his camera roll that he posted. Okay. Hmm. And, and just roughly, just so, I know this has been a couple years ago and a, you know, a traumatic experience. Would you mind just guessing about how many people were with Mr. Utzler? Um, like I said, I'd have to go back and take a uh, take a look at that picture there, and I, I don't I don't know how many people showed up. So was it was, it, was it? Would you say it was more or less than seven? I would say it was um, somewhere between six to twelve. Okay. So somewhere between that number. Okay. And I don't, and I'm not necessarily sure that they showed up with him, so I don't know. Right. You know, I just know that I just know that he was there. I don't know that he was the instigator of bringing them, you know, and getting those people there. I just, he may have just been one of the group, so I can't necessarily say that it was he that organized all that. Absolutely. That they were with him. Absolutely. Okay. When Mr. Utzler and his his people, his crew, well, the, the Obviously, whether they traveled there with him or not, they, you know, he, uh, they were part of the group. Did uh, Bob Long or Lou Ellington, were they there for this event? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, listen. Well, if you, go, if, you go, if you go on the website, you'll find that there's a picture of three, uh, there's a picture of a group of people standing on the platform. There's three people at the pulpit. Um, the person in the middle is Lou Ellinger. Okay. Did did Utzler or any of the people that he was with or appeared to be with was there was there fear of any violence? Um, some people felt threatened, but they uh, by their presence, but they never they never um, indicated any any threat to anybody as far as that. But they, they, people were just intimidated by their presence. Okay. I mean, okay. they did not, like I said, they did, they did not, they did not threaten anybody. They didn't, uh, you know, didn't give any threatening moves or anything like uh, that towards. They, you know, they, as far as that, they didn't. You know, it was just, uh, they're, they're just, they were, they're pre- just them being there was intimidating to some people. Yeah, that right there shows the true nature of Steve Anderson's new IFB cult. See, and here's the thing too, uh, what they do is they leave a bunch of bad reviews because why? Well, they're nowhere, they're nothing without the internet. See, without without the internet, there'd be no new IFB. See, the, the new IFB, they don't get power from God. The power they get is from the electricity going into their Wi-Fi routers. That's the truth of the matter. And what they do is that they'll give you fits over the internet if you're a pastor that goes against them. That's the truth of the matter. And that was seen right here. They come in and cause problems, they're asked to leave, they don't. Because why? Well, they're an uh, aggressive cult, no different than Westboro. They're being propped up by the media, and any independent Baptist pastor who goes against them or you know causes a stir among the uh, internet tr- uh, internet trolls from the new IFB, well, stuff like this happens. See, and it's interesting too because Acts thirteen verse one to three shows the you know the autonomy, the local autonomy. See, they're in, they're ordained in person. See, all throughout the book of Acts, you'll see a local autonomy of churches. Um, that's not the case with the new IFB. They're an internet cult. That's, a, that's the truth of the matter. So, this, another example is showing the very aggressive nature and witchcraft-style intimidation tactics of the new IFB cult led by Stephen Anderson, the internet pastor from Arizona. So don't be deceived by this group. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.